Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. Today we're starting a new series here, and this is Nuclear Reactions. We had already done Atomic Structure. That was the first section of this unit. This unit is Atomic Structure and then Nuclear Reactions. Today we're doing the first video on Nuclear Reactions, so let's get started. Bam! This is going to be a really simple, short video here. So, Nuclear Reactions, all of them. All of them start off with an unstable nucleus, and that is uh, really the total number of protons and neutrons that are in the nucleus. There's a certain number there that makes them unstable. N a unstable nucleus emits radiation. That radiation can be in the form of either particles or emissions energy, and it is converted into a more stable nucleus or potentially a different element as a process um, uh, that occurs. And that is because sometimes protons or electrons or something inside the nucleus um, changes, okay? And then that change in atomic number changes the element because we know that the number of protons dictates which element it is. This change often dictates a change in mass as well, but not necessarily so. There's always a conservation of mass, and that is the conservation of nucleons. Those are the par particles inside the nucleus, the protons and the neutrons. This always occurs in nuclear reactions, and we're going to find out after we do a number of nuclear reactions and do the math associated with them, it's actually a really simple problem. Okay, that was the first video in the series. I hope you enjoyed that. I am the Crazy Hat Chemist. Bam! Give me a thumbs up on those videos, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day. Bye now.